blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me in a very, very mighty way, in a very, very powerful way. The Lord Jehovah Yahweh, the tremendous God of Israel, has spoken with me, blessed people, in a very profound, extensive, and incisive way about the glorious coming of the Messiah. And I'll describe the conversation, then I'll open up the revelation for you. Blessed people who are tuned in upon the face of this planet called Earth, the planet Earth. Now, in coming all the way from heaven to speak with me about the glorious coming of the Messiah, the Lord Jehovah, he showed me on my left hand side the Messiah coming. On my left hand side, when I looked up into the sky, I saw the Messiah coming in the clouds. And then immediately, towards my right, right in front of me, a ladder appeared. A ladder appeared. And he made me know that this is Jacob's ladder. This is Jacob's ladder. And when this ladder appeared, was my right, but in front of me, right in front of me here, then I saw people. I saw people that were climbing very fast. They were climbing the ladder very fast, going up. So when I thought they were going up, because it was going up to halfway, then when I looked up, I thought they were really going up. So they went higher. The ladder was actually taller. So they really went much higher until they entered the clouds. I saw a lot of people, and people of all types, climbing the ladder and going up. When I thought the ladder was ending somewhere, then when I looked up, I saw that the ladder was actually much, much higher and taller. So they were really going up, and they were not coming back. And they entered the cloud. Again, today the Lord has had a very significant conversation with the nations of the earth, with all humanity, with all his creation regarding the most awaited event, the most anticipated event ever since the earth was created, the day of the coming of the glorious Messiah, the Lord Christ, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to take mortal men into an immortal kingdom of God in the process of transforming them and translating some of them. And in this conversation, God the Father brought me to a place on the earth here. Then he showed me on my left hand side, across the clouds, the Messiah coming. I saw the Messiah coming in tremendous glory and power. Very powerful glory. The glory of the Messiah. The Messiah coming across the clouds. Coming with the clouds. Tremendous. Very powerful. And then towards a little bit of my right, but in front of me, he presented a ladder. I looked at the ladder, planting a little bit forward, a little bit, and he made me know that that was Jacob's ladder. Jacob's ladder. And when I looked at the ladder, I saw a lot of people gathered below the ladder, down at the foot of the ladder. Then quickly they began to climb up, very, very fast. It shocked me. The way they climbed so fast also shocked me a little bit. So when I thought, a ladder for a ladder, 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 the earthly ladder concept, the conception of the, of the ladder on the earth, I thought it would reach somewhere. Then when I checked up, I looked up, I saw that they were going really, really very far. The ladder was very tall, very high, and they entered, they reached the clouds, and they entered the clouds. The ladder, they were climbing very fast. Climbing up the ladder and going very, very fast. They did not come back. They didn't look back. I still see it now in my eyes. I saw people climbing very fast and going. And then on my extreme right, after they had all climbed and the cloud covered them in, then on my extreme, my right now, on my right now, then by voice he said, I saw people who remained. Then by voice he said, the shepherds, there were people, and then he identified, he made me know that some of them are shepherds, they're shepherds. By voice, he says, they're shepherds. 
So when I looked, I saw actually the shepherds. I said, wow, these are shepherds. I was saying to myself, wow, these, these are shepherds. And then after that, I woke up. This is a very significant conversation that the Lord has just had with the church on this day. The shepherds, those who had remained, then he said the shepherds. Then I could see some pastors, the shepherds. Beloved people, I have trumpeted this message. The two of us have trumpeted this message. And now even our, our outreach is greater. Every time we come on board, you hear like 430 cities, 500 cities, 300 watt cities. Trumpeted this message that the Messiah is coming. That the Lord Jehovah, he has actually spoken with me about the coming of the Messiah. And I've said again and again that this is he about whom it was written in the Bible. That in those days he shall send a voice of one crying out in the wilderness telling the nation prepare ye the way of the Lord. Be righteous. Be holy. Have right standing with God. Amend your ways. For the kingdom of God has now drawn nigh. And in several prophecies I've said, the collision of the neutral stars, many other prophecies, that when all this comes to pass, then you know that this is Elijah. This is Elijah that was promised in the book of Malachi to come and prepare all things, restore them before the dreadful day of the Lord befalls the earth. I have trumpeted this with absolute clarity. Even a baby would understand. And now look at this conversation today. On this day, on Tuesday, January 14th, look at this type of conversation. And he shows me the Messiah coming in the cloud, across the cloud, descending with maximum glory. And then right in front of me, a ladder appears, and a lot of people are climbing up and going into heaven. When I thought the ladder would end somewhere, and I looked up a little bit, I saw it really went up, and they were going really, really up. They were not falling. They were going really up and entering. The other day it was the glorious stairs. Today it is the ladder of Jacob. You let me know this is the ladder of Jacob. And I want to refer you to the book of John chapter 1, when there was baptism going on, when Jesus was coming to be baptized, and many people were involved, spectating and watching. So Nathaniel, for example, was wondering what all this experience would be. The baptism that was taking place. Philip was there. Many people were there. John chapter 145 says, if you begin 143, it says, The next day Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. John chapter 143, that I may give you the revelation of what the Lord has spoken. It says, The next day Jesus decided to leave for Galilee, finding Philip. He said unto him, Follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathaniel and told him, We have found the one Moses wrote about in the law, and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Verse 45, I read another version. John chapter 145 says, Philip findeth Nathanael and saith unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph. Verse 46. And Nathanael said unto him, Come and see Jesus. Verse 
47. Jesus saw Nathaniel coming to him and said to him, said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Oh. Verse 47. Nathaniel said unto him, Whence knowest thou me? Where did you know me from? Jesus answered and said unto him, Before that, Philip called thee. When thou wast under the fig tree, I saw thee. Nathaniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the Son of God. Thou art the King of Israel. Verse 50. Jesus answered and said unto him, Because I said unto thee, I saw thee under the fig tree, Believest thou? Thou shalt see greater things than these. Verse 51. John chapter 1, 51, he says, And he said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Hereafter you shall see, you shall see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. And we see very clearly, blessed people, that the Lord Jesus was essentially referring to the ladder of Jacob. The ladder of Jacob. And he's saying that even as Jacob was given the ladder, shown the ladder of angels climbing up like I have seen. In other words, the Lord was referring to the redemptive plan, the plan for the redemption of man, how he would bring a bridge, a connection between fallen man and connect man into heaven, beginning with Israel. And he says, the ladder, the ladder of the atonement of sin that the Messiah would bring. The connection, the bridge, the ladder of the blood and the cross of Jesus that would connect the earth to heaven. The mortal world to immortality. The perishable life, perishable life to imperishability. The short life on the earth to everlasting life. Jesus was talking to them here about the ladder of the redemption of men, the ladder of the atonement for sin. And he referred to the ladder I saw today, the ladder of Jacob. That that would be the conduit, that would be the channel for communication between fallen man and the eternal God, his creator. He is and her creator, both male and female. And now, the bridge, he shows me this bridge today. And he says, greater things, Nathaniel, shall you see now, because of the ladder of road, that when Jacob was given this tremendous vision of the ladder, it was essentially the vision of the coming of the Messiah, God's own redemptive plan. And that plan now, that Jacob had, the plan Jacob had, the plan Jacob was shown by God, Yahweh, the Creator, the Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, and our God, our Father. That ladder he showed Jacob. Now when the eternal prophet, the prophet of eternity, arrived, the prophet of Malachi arrived, then he shows him the Messiah coming, and people climbing the ladder, meaning the completion of the vision of Jacob. Today he completed it here. Meaning when the church of Christ will now use that ladder to ascend and enter heaven, then the vision of the redemption of fallen man that Jacob beheld will now be completed. And now he brings this prophet here to ensure that the vision, that ladder that is the Messiah, the redemptive plan, the grace that he brought, the bridge, the atonement, the connection, the channel of communication that the Messiah brought would now be complete because the final objective is for you, the church, to finally enter. How powerful to become the medium, the connection, to 
give the greater revelation of the vision that Jacob had and to open up the mysteries of the truth of God to a generation, to a people, to humanity, to mankind, that they may now go and meet the God of Abraham and the patriarchs of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Lord has spoken in a very profound manner, in very profound way. He has revealed the greater truth, the concealed truth of heaven, that the Messiah is coming, and it is near. Time is near now. He showed me the church ascending up. Little did I know the glorious stairs, that the glorious stairs I commanded down on that 15th of January 2017. And were lowered, and you captured it in your camera on 11th of March 2018. Little did I know that that was actually Jacob's ladder, the ladder of God, the ladder that is the Messiah, God's redemptive prayer, God's bridge, God's connection. His channel of communicating with fallen man and redeeming them into his kingdom. Those that believe, those that choose holiness, those that are obedient to this voice, connecting them back to the Messiah, the Holy Messiah, Christ Jesus the Redeemer, our Savior, everlasting Father, the King of glory, the triumphant one, the living stone. The living water. The word. The son of David. Today he showed me how that vision of Jacob, that he gave Jacob, is about to be completed. How powerful. The living God has spoken. What an awesome generation. What an awesome time. What a blessed hour. And just today we are celebrating a cripple. Don't talk about a cripple just stood up and walked. In Transmara. The day before yesterday celebrated tremendous blind, two years totally blind, born blind. And then it, the day before that, total, total seven years crippled, walking. Beautiful classical miracles. The miracles of the ladder of Jacob. The miracles that the ladder of Jacob brought. The atonement for sin that the Christ brought through his cross. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. I've seen the Messiah coming. And I've seen the ladder of Jacob and the blessed elect, the holy saints, the righteous ones with glorious garments, climbing the stairs and going and all the way into the clouds and not looking back. Todah Aderim, Todah Rabah. Todah Lachem. Todah Hashem, Baruch Hashem. Todah Todah. Erev Tov. Laila Tov. Todah Shalom. Thank you.